Welcome, my ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Webcam is oh, well, of course. Back here. Oh, probably. Oh. Hmm. Odd. Wrong with webcam. Here while I fix it. It has. There we go. That worked. Okay. Well, that took a long while for us going to get started. Uh, so for some reason, I was just having weird internet issues where it wasn't connecting to YouTube properly, and with everything that's been going on today, I think that might. My internet may not be the most stable. Um, in fact, it hasn't been the most stable all week, in all honesty. But I will persevere and push through it. Now, um, I kind of uh, showed this off at the end of the last stream, which was about two weeks ago at this point, I believe. And I showed off my mod pack that's currently still in the works. Now, granted, down here in the bottom, it does say Fire and Ice, or Ice and Fire, uh, 2.6 uh, 2 or something like that. Regardless, that does not mean it is the Ice and Fire uh, mod pack. So the mod pack is completely different from the mod itself. Um, my mod pack has grown a little bit since the last time that I showcased it. Which, um, it's grown in the sense where it still has a good amount of mods, such as in we still got the Abyss mod, uh, we still got the, let me see here, we got the Castle in the Skies, of course. Um, there is a couple mods that I kind of got rid of, uh, one of them being the Dragon Survival mod. The Dragon Survival mod was kind of conflicting in a little way where when you go ahead and use it and became a said dragon um the first thing that would end up happening is that the world would first off recognize your character as a as a mob instead of an actual player so in that case oh, audio bit rate low I'm guessing there's no audio that's coming through. That's odd. Let me check. What? What? Okay, that's kind of weird. Like, I'm sending audio to the stream. Yeah, it's being sent at 320. Or 160, actually. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um. First off, let me go. I need to restart. The stream, yeah, restart a little bit here. Oh boy. Um. And disable the auto stop. So that automatically stop once when I end. Give me just a moment, and I'm gonna be right back.
Okay. I believe we should be back. Okay, are we back now? Yes, we are. Okay. Okay. Um, hopefully you guys can actually hear me now instead of it being a little bit passive. Uh, you guys might hear a little bit of an echo. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you guys can hear me. That's good. That's what I needed to know. So, where, what was I talking about? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. The mods that I added and mods that I removed. So, the drag, uh, I was talking about the dragon survival mod, which um, the essence of the mod is where you can go ahead and play Minecraft in survival, but obviously in the form of a dragon. I decided to remove that mod, one, because of the fact that it was conflicting with uh, mo mob AI, uh, where it was forcing all the mobs to go ahead and think that you were actually one of them rather than think that you were a player, which in fact is not the case. Um, at least that's the case when I was messing around with uh, doing that and checking to see if it would do the same with the dragons of the ice and fire mod. It did not. Now, something that I did go ahead and learn is how to tame some of the dragons. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, a few of the dragons that I want to go ahead and tame are quite rare. <laughs> um, one of them is only found in, like, the uh snow tundra uh, snow, snow snowy mountains or something like that while the other one oh my god i think it like has a random spawning chance or something like that um in fact let me double check on the discord uh that's the name of the dragon that i was looking at um Where are royal reds? Okay. Mountains. Okay. It is very rare, though. That's what I thought. So, royal red dragons are mountainous based dragons. They spawn in like the um, mountain biomes that can reach up to, I believe it's like between 200 and 250 blocks. Um, well, why that is. So that's that case. Uh, the other dragon that I was referring to was a, I, uh, an alpine dragon, which is in essence just an ice dragon, but without the fire breath. Um, I definitely think that it's going to be a lot easier to get the ice dragon than it, or the Alpine dragon than it is the uh, royal red dragon. Now both of those oh, both of those are from the worm roost mod, which is the main mod that I kind of wanted to focus around. But obviously, ice and fire got introduced to it as well, and ice and fire really does have a good mixture of mods to use. Now, as far as ice and fire dragons are concerned, I don't think that they are tameable. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not believe that they are tameable. Um, I can go ahead and join their Discord and find out for myself, though. Because I wasn't in their Discord already. Join Ice and Fire. Okay. Um, I think that I might have to refresh the rule real quick. It's my first time. Okay. Um, apparently there are a lot of people that are, uh, that ask the questions, are a couple, are there any of the dragons tameable? And...
Okay, so that's something else to keep in mind. The Dragons of the Ice and Fire mod, uh, which is one of the mods that I'm more concerned about than the uh, Wormroost mod, is that they are very, like, aggressive towards each other. They can go ahead and attack each other without end. Now, I am going to get into a creative test world that I had. I believe it's this one. Uh, and I believe I have it set up where I'm able to go and spawn in the different types of dragons without any sort of AI or anything where we can just go ahead and take a look at them. Um, I've really only looked at the... Uh, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to worry about experimental setting, settings for the world because it's just a regular world with the mods, so it couldn't really do anything else. Um, so yeah. Now, something to also keep in mind is that we have the Abyss mod in this game, or inside of this mod pack, which, in of itself, the Abyss mod is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, that's actually a, mod, a wrong pack. Wrong world. Um, I need... I thought that I loaded up you. That was a, it was a creative world that I loaded up, not a survival world. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Reading world data. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, I know what I'm doing. You load it back up into the survival one. I'm just going to have to create a new creative test world because that will just be the easiest way for me to go about it. Um, and something else I might have to do here is I might have to get up the... AI that I use, or the script files that I use for when I am, oh, I remember this, <laughs> this is a creative test world where I tamed two different dragons, uh, the butterfly leviathan dragon, which, my god, is it loud in my ear, um, I'll lower you down just about 25. Yeah, so the Butterfly Leviathan Dragon is a tameable one. Um, and same with the Silver Glider. Both of them are tamed the exact same way. And thank you for making yourself known in the presence. Now, if I am correct here, they will, uh, well, the Silver Glider will go ahead and teleport to me. The Butterfly Leviathan will only teleport to you if you're in the water. So that's the thing. And because of the fact that it's also a water-based mob, it's very, very slow in the water. What, what are you whistling for? <laughs> I gotta admit, like, it's very, it's very loud. Plus, it also goes on your head. It's, <laughs> it's so cute on your head, though. Um... As far as the other dragons are concerned, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have. To. I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to, uh, to. For demonstration purposes, I need to go and kill them off. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You're too loud. I can't have you. Uh. Uh, that's one thing that I do hate. Sorry, so uh, sorry, Sylvie. Oh, that's one thing about uh, silver gliders. They go ahead and fly away in a in a sense after they've been um, tempered with. Also, ignore that destruction that's over there. We're not going to talk about that destruction. So, um, I'm going to clear my inventory here. Uh, so I want to go and get, uh, first off, give me a command block. Uh, just a regular one. I, that's all I need. Okay. And then we want to go ahead and set this up for spawn. No, um, 
I think it's the summon? Yes. Uh, we want to summon... Uh, got Worm Roost. Uh, we want to summon Alpine. Uh, we want to summon it at 6. And there we go. And then I need to go ahead and search up here. Um, da -da -da -da. To summon a mob without AI Minecraft. That's what I was looking for. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Okay. This is what I need to add. Okay. Actually, I. This is going to make it so that way they don't die. And then, uh, because this is only going to be for the Alpine Dragon. So, we then want... I I'm going to go and get this set, uh, set up. Um, I'm going to need at least like five blocks worth of space. Because these dragons are pretty big. So, summon. Um, we want Worm Roost. And we want to summon. Uh, we already have seen a butterfly leviathan, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway. Um, and go. Nope. Okay. Uh, we're good. I believe get rid of the space at the end. Otherwise, it's going to say not set. Uh, same with you. Okay. Uh, this one is Butterfly Leviathan. Uh, this one that I want to summon next. This one's going to be the Royal Red. Uh, one is... Oh, uh, well, I can do the Canary Dragon, but I'm going to pick the Royal Red one first. Royal red because that one. Okay. Uh, all three of these dragons are pretty big. I think that they are the biggest in the pack itself, or in the in the in this mod. And summon. Um, what worm roost. And I want this one to be the Dragon Fruit Drake, which is a really funny name, but it's super adorable. <laughs> um, I haven't figured out how to tame a Dragon Fruit Drake yet, but I imagine it's quite easy. Uh, this one, we want to come in. Um, you can Nary Wyvern. Nary Wyverns are actually. So, uh, set those up at 6, not at 5. Because we want the Y coordinate to be 1 higher. Um, apparently, I'm getting the same YouTube message that I got earlier in the stream. Lovely. Uh, set these ones up that I did not set earlier. Did I set you up for you set up for six, not five. There we go. Okay. Uh you're set up for the canary wyvern. In fact, I'm just gonna go get these going right now so that way I don't need to worry about them later. Also, I think that Okay. There is the Alpine Dragon. There is the Butterfly Dragon. That is the Royal Red. The Butterfly Dragon obviously is bigger width-wise. However, height-wise, Royal Red takes the lead. Uh, and yeah, Royal Red is also very, like, interesting. That's the Drake. The Drake Dragon it is, like, super adorable, in my opinion. The Wyvern 
Oh, I didn't set it up with no AI. Okay, little buddy. Sorry, but I'm going to need to kill you off here. Um, sorry, my dude. Oh, come on. Land already, okay? Yeah, that's a, that's a screech you don't want to hear every day. I thought I'd set you up. For, oh, yeah, I didn't. Okay. Okay, but that's perfectly fine. That's the can uh, canary wyvern. Uh, I'm going to put the coin dragon in the middle of these two. Coin dragon actually, like, uh, come in. Coin? Oh, I have to. No, 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 no. Okay. Set it up for six. Zero. And the coin dragon is so cute, like so small, but yet so cute. Um, next one up. Uh, I really should have had this set up beforehand. Uh, I got the royal red roostalker. And we want to put that in. Oh, there we go. That roost stalker right there. And I think next one. Got roost stalker. Overworld, uh, overworld break. Um, let's get the Tip arrow I haven't actually seen yet. What exactly is that? Oh, it's just the makes sense why it would why, why I haven't seen it. It's just a tip arrow. Okay. Uh, go and get the. I already got the alpine. Got the butterfly leviathan, canary dragon, uh, coin oin, dragon fruit. Uh, Lesser Desert Worm. There we go. The Lesser Desert Worm is not really something I would consider a dragon, to be honest. Because all it is is it's just like a small little like earthworm that sits inside the sand. Um, now the next one I know is a little bit bigger. And then, uh, we want Overworld Drake. And, um, I will admit, like, when I first started up, these, the Overworld Drakes, are very common. Now, as far as how they are tamed, I have yet to figure that out because I have not actually gone ahead and uh, searched a way to do that. Uh, these three right here, or these two primarily speaking, along with the Silver Glider, which is actually one that I forgot to bring out here. I'm just going to pop it up like right there. Uh, summon. Uh, where are you? Silver Glider. There we go. Six, that, 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 but. Okay. So, interesting selection of dragons, I'd say. The, of course, these are just from the Worm Roost mod. I haven't even looked at the dragons from the Ice and Fire mod. Um, if I just take a look here, there is Ice and Fire items. It's better animal. Ice and fire block. Uh, uh, ice and fire, if I recall correctly, they should have. Uh, oh, the abyss! I forgot about that. There's the abyss and the abyss two mod, which are both like interlinked with each other. So, 
quite impressive, I'd say. Uh, I think it's just in here. Okay, yeah. Brown bear, black bear. And, oh, this is, that's the, uh, that's not better. Hippogriff. Like, lightning dragon heart. You know, they want an actual, like, spawn egg. Um, okay, yeah. Here's a spawn. Bullet knight. Okay, so these are something that I have not seen yet. The most that I have seen that spawn naturally when I had playtested this the other day is I've seen bandits uh, come out. And those are typically um, around the time, like, when you least expect it, to be honest. Like, I think that I got a an encounter with, like, two of them while I was deep in the mines at one point. And simply said the bandits... Uh, or at least the bounty hunters, or whatever you want to call them, they are both like you know, they're very naturally aggressive. For one, they will attack you. Uh, for two, uh, they don't necessarily spawn too frequently. However, that does not mean that they don't spawn at all. Uh, so fire, ice, lightning, hippogriff, uh, gorgon. I haven't seen what a Gorgon looks like, so I'll have to take a look at it. Pixie, Cyclops, uh, Siren. Oh, Sirens are nasty. I don't want to get in contact with a Siren. Uh, Hippocampus, uh, Death Worm. Ooh. Cockatrice, um, the Ferrin Bird, Troll, a Worker. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Ice and Fire mod also has like the Nets sort of deal. So, I'll have to spawn them in. Uh, but first, let's go and get the fire and ice dragon. So, that's uh, uh, five. I, I want to have this be at least like seven because I know for a fact the fire dragon is like, wow. Ice and fire, I want the fire dragon first. Uh, fire dragon. We want to summon him at here, her or her. I'm not gender basis, but um, just be known that the ice and fire mod. Not nice. Wait. Oh, I forgot that it summoned at stage one. So that's a stage one fire dragon. You can't really do anything with it, if I, to my knowledge. Um, so that actually does make things slightly better. That means I can go and just cancel. Actually, make it right here. Summon um, ice and fire. I want to get a ice dragon. Summon ice dragon. There we go. Uh, the and then summon you pretty much the same exact thing but of course white instead of red I think the same thing can be said for the other types of dragons so like let's say summon Ice and fire. I want to summon the death worm. No, not the death worm. Um, ice, fire. Um, I want to summon the lightning dragon. Yes. Lightning dragon is apparently blue. Oh, okay, it's uh, taking on reference from um. Dungeons and Dragons at that point. Okay. Uh, summon ice and fire. Okay. Uh, I think that it is the sea serpent. No. What type of dragon is it that I want to summon? Is it the hippocampus? I think it's the hippocampus.
Okay, yeah, the hippocampus is pretty much a sea dragon or a large seahorse. Okay. And then, like, those are the th I think these are just the three main types of dragons. I think. There, I thought that there was, like, water or, like, a. I don't know why, but I thought that there was, like, an earth based dragon or something like that. Hmm. Oh, well. Um. Other dragons are there inside of the ice and fire mod. Um, there is any more cockatrice, maybe ghost hydra. I know for a fact is like not that big, but at the same time, it is a, a decent size, so I will have to do something about that. Amethyr, I know, is a Winged based dragon, but it does not have any like feet, I believe. It's like a serpent with wings or something like that. So I am going to go ahead and just move over a little bit. Summon Ice and Fire, Amethyr. And we want to summon you without AI. Yeah, Amethyrs. A decent size, to be honest, and as I said, no um, actual, like, feet, so they will go ahead and just, like, I don't know what, what you could say, like, um, they will go ahead and just, like, be on their bellies or something like that. And then, let's see here. You... Eh, probably cancel. Uh, bring you out right there. Summon ice and fire. I don't want to summon Amber though. Um, cockatrice. Oh, chicken. The cockatrice. I really should have thought about that when I first saw the name, but oh well. Okay, well, anyway, I pretty much think that's all of the dragon type. Or all of the mobs that come from the dragon base mods. Granted, there are more, but I think that's all of, like, the dragon type mods. Apparently there is, like, the Tide Guardian. Uh, and some other stuff, like, yeah, Tide Guardian in, like, purple, blue, green, red. What is that? Teal? That looks like a blue, a deep blue, bronze, uh, black, or copper, amethyst, electric blue. Ooh. Oh, and this is a dragon scale armor. Okay. But nonetheless, like I do, I do want to see where this leads to. A hydra. I'm going to spawn this away a little bit, because if it gets out of control, I don't want it to attack the demonstration mob. Oh, very small. Yeah, the Hydra is just like a small little, like, three-headed serpent in this mod pack, that is. Now, I really need to look for a type of mod pack that is based around... The idea where it sh uh, hovers, or at least the mobs that you hit, it hovers over, uh, it ho hovers with like a health point bar or something like that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely like a seven-headed uh, Hydra right there. Now, if I recall correctly, the only way you can really, like, kill off a Hydra is I think you're supposed to use, like, fire damage or something like that. Yeah, like using a flint and steel or someone.
because it's going to take constant damage. Not really the type of mod that I would want to go ahead and mess with. But in terms of killing, it's going to be easier to go ahead and kill it with fire rather than doing anything else with it. Although I have a funny feeling that because of the type of mod it, mob it is, it takes a lot to go ahead and kill it. And the more you try and strike it with like normal like combat attacks uh, from like swords and such, or even arrows for that matter. It takes more damage. Although it just... It, did it regrow one of its heads? Like, to be fair, like, I think that the best mob to go and attack them with is, like, the Worm Roost mod. Because the Royal Red... <clears throat> ...will go ahead and use its fire attack. Because the Royal Red can just go ahead and just, like, toss them away. Although, it is really, like, it's stupid enough to just go and walk into its own fire as well. Wow, okay. Hmm. What about... Oh. <clears throat> Of course the Royal, the Royal Reds would be territorial against each other. Why did I not think about that? Why did I not? Like, that's such a predictable thing. Oh, and this, this Royal Red is actually being smart. It's flying to get away from his acid breath. <clears throat> now, is it going to actually be able to kill it? That's something that I need to know. Is it going to be able to actually kill the Hydra? Because as far as I know, the Hydra is like one tough mob. And once when it's down to its last head, it's almost nearly impossible to kill, if I recall correctly. Fighting a Hydra is definitely a task you do not want to endure. But this dragon is determined, it's like, you're not going to attack me, but I am more than welcome to attack you. <laughs> and of course, we're over here next to the damage from my last testing that I did inside of this world. Oh. 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 Is it, al is it, is it almost... 
Hold on. I need to go and grab that. I'm not sure, but I think that the dragon's just going to continuously attack the Hydra. And they're just going to be in a never-ending conflict with each other. Because this dragon's actually smart enough to go ahead and attack the Hydra from the air. That's one thing that I want to see from these dragons. I want to see how smart they are. Um, and I want to see that from other mobs as well. How well is their AI? How are they going to be able to use their many different abilities? Um, some have more abilities than others, so that's really what I want to go ahead and test and experience. Oh no, the Royal Reds. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, let's aid the Royal Red here because frankly, we're not supposed to have weather anyway. Weather clear. Uh, yeah, better weather. Oh yeah, better weather. Forgot about that mod. Um. <clears throat> Flash, better weather, uh, set weather, clear. Setting the, uh, set the weather to clear. Also, time, uh, set day. I want it to be like during the daytime while we're playing this. God damn, like how much exp or how much like hit points does an actual like Hydra have? I don't know. That's a good question. Like I think that it says something inside of like the Discord for the Ice and Fire mod, but I am not a hundred percent certain with you. That is something I have not figured out. But you can definitely see where we started and now where we're at. The, I, the Hydras just keep moving forward and forward and forward. But let me see here. So it is still taking its damage. But the thing is, is that, one, the dragon has landed. So... Okay. You were smart at first, buddy, but... I don't think you're smart anymore. Because one, you're not only being damaged by the Hydra, but you're also being damaged by your own fire. Yep, there we go. And I figured that would be the case. There we go, yep. That's kind of what I thought. Now, I think that it's because the Hydra... Um... I really wish that was something that I can go ahead and do. Something that I can go ahead and, like, find out. Like, HP. No, well, actually, I can see if I can do that. No. Um, mob? No. That's not something that you can go ahead and figure out, I guess. Okay. I'll have to take a look at the conscripts for it, because... I have a funny feeling that the Hydra itself doesn't in actuality have that much in terms of HP, but I have a funny feeling that it has a certain ability that regens its HP faster than you can deal damage to it. So, I have a funny feeling that no matter how much damage is done to it, it's always going to just be kept alive because of its natural regenerative abilities. And it doesn't look like it has any more spots for a new head or something like that. But it's still taking damage from the fire that the dragon kept spewing at it. Hmm. I just want to check to see here. Like, I know... Could the fire dragon... Uh, fire, ice, or lightning? Uh, hippogriff. The gorgon. Oh, the, I know what the Gorgon is. I don't want to put that out yet. I'm going to bring out the Fire Dragon. And I'm going to spawn it, like, right about here. Oh, that's one of its variants. I forgot the Ice, uh, the Fire Dragon. Oh, what are, what are you going to do, buddy?
Uh, oh my god, okay. I will say, like, it is turning... Is that charred? Charred grass. Okay, that's what it's turning the grass into when it uses the fire breath. That's interesting, okay. That must be an effect of the dragon. Now, because of the fact that it's a fire dragon, will it take damage from the actual fire itself? The Hydra, though, it's being a bitch, to be honest with you. I just want to, like, see, like, how much... Target entity. Like, let me go ahead and. Oh. Hi, uh, uh, hi Drake. I wonder. Oh. But a Hydra did end up killing the dragon. So what is it that is capable of killing a Hydra then? <laughs> yep. Hmm. I guess you gotta use an open hand when doing this. Yeah, that's right. You gotta use an open hand and do right clicking because that's how you're gonna get all the components of the dragon. Interesting, okay. Fire dragon heart. What else does that you get? Dragon scales, which are good for um, actually creating dragon armor. Dragon scaled armor. Dragon Bone, which I need to go and get a mod now that allows me to go ahead and like, like shift click or something like that and go ahead and find out what are the recipes that this item is used in. Not the re recipes that makes it, but the recipes that the item is used in. Um, that's something that I really need to figure out if there's a mod that does that. I bet you there is if I look hard enough. And to be fair, I didn't really um, search for that many specific mods before starting the stream. But overall, yeah. Um, with that said, I want to go ahead and I think that it is a good time. <clears throat> One, leave the world. So that way I can go ahead and back out of the game. Okay, you're doing fine. Now, something that some of you are possibly going to ask is why am I uh, having this in windowed form rather than not using full screen? So that way I can click off windows. Um, that way I can click off and not have the game minimized for myself. Works both ways. Okay, so I think in that uh, case then, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, that's the one mod. Uh, oh, that was when I was checking out the Abyss mod, I believe. Um, yeah. Actually, no. That was the mod that I figured out that the Dragon Survival mod doesn't work. So I'm not getting back into that one. In fact, I'm going to delete it because I know that one is not going to work. Not going to work. Okay. Um... Now I know that some of you, uh, some people are most likely going to say this. Like, uh, why does your uh, thumbnail look like it's the same thumbnail used in like the one dot seventeen when you're playing on one dot sixteen? That's because of the fact that I had no other like uh, basic photo of Minecraft to use, so I just use this, reuse the same photo. 
We're not playing in 1.17 for those who are curious about that. We are playing in 1.16.5. Uh, mostly because this is the most recent version of Minecraft that is capable of all the mods in this pack so far. Um, I may end up having more mobs, uh, more mods that go ahead and update saying, hey, we're gonna we're available in 1.17 now. Um, but I may not have that for months from now. And that's not something that I want to take a chance on. I want to go ahead and take this one step at a time and do things the right way. So with this, I want to go ahead and get into a survival world. My goal, first and foremost, is to get and tame a dragon. I don't care what type of dragon it is. It could be a silver glider for all I care. Um, I haven't figured out how to tame a overworld drake, though. Um, that is something that I should go ahead and actually ask real quick. Oh, okay. I just saw a, a reply in one of my Discord messages. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Um. The overworld. Break. Pain. Apparently, there's their own shows up in video. Okay, well, let me go ahead and take a look at this video then. Uh, mute. Okay. I'm watching the video for it right now and I'm like, what is it that he's doing? He one, he has a saddle on him. Oh okay, that makes sense. Okay, in other words, it's like you're taming a horse, but instead, one, you need to get a saddle. Two, you need to be able to get its aggro going to the point where you can put the saddle on it. It doesn't care if you put a saddle on it or not, but what it does care for is um, you being able to get on it regardless. Now, overworld drakes are really difficult to tame then because, one, it's not a natural process. It's one where you have to physically, like, get on them. And because of the fact that they are naturally aggressive mobs, they won't, like, <laughs> they won't take it nicely. Um, and they do spawn frequently, quite frequently, in fact. <laughs> um, so this will be interesting. Um, okay, yeah, and then once when they are actually, like, tamed, they just, they, uh, they are pretty much like a horse. And they are a, uh, since they are a drake, they can't go ahead and, um, they can't go ahead and breathe. The, uh, they, they can't fly for, for one fact right then and there. For two, um, they can't, uh, what is it? They don't really, they don't fire breathe. They don't whatsoever. So, in all, that's not bad. Um, and that's just for the fire, dra uh, just for the overworld drake. So I now know how to tame the overworld drake, the royal red, the alpine, the uh, the butterfly leviathan. Which, granted, all of them are good in their own perspectives. The alpine dragon and the royal red dragon. One, the royal red is going to be a lot harder. Because one, you got to be able to just feed it meat. It doesn't care anything else. The royal red dragon will naturally like, um, 
it will naturally just go ahead and attack you. But if you feed it meat at any given point in time, there I believe it's like a 1 in 5 chance for it to go and be instantly tamed. I think that's the case. Okay, that was actually from a couple months ago, actually, when that was last, when that was answered. Um, okay. What? That's a weird... That's weird. Okay, I, I'm seeing something that's on the Discord for, uh... The worm roost mod, and I'm like, what the? Think of it like this: lizard folk, dragonborn, half dragon. What do all of those have in common? They are all humanoid versions of the dragon reptile, or the dragon. <sighs> But the thing is that the picture that they shared, I may be scarring everyone's life right now. But the picture they shared is that. Um, uh, to myself, that's a no. I would definitely not want to be depicted as that type of humanoid. But I gotta say, like, this is interesting. Now, I do gotta admit, the ice and fire mod and the fire, uh, the ice and fire, uh, the ice and fire mod and the worm roost mod are not the only mods with this mod pack that I want to focus on. I have well over like almost 30 other mods that are currently in the pack that I want to focus on as well. Only about like 20 of them are really like extremely useful such as in the Inventory Pets mod, the Everlasting Abilities, um, the Medieval mod, where you can get Excalibur at one point. It is an interesting sword to get, because it does 25 attack damage with one single hit. Um, and that's non-critical, mind you. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of an OP sword, in all honesty. But uh, let's just go ahead and do this real quick i'm gonna just call this live and i'm gonna just do a simple survival world just to go ahead and showcase the mod yes proceed with experimental settings Ugh. i think that's because of twilight force so and because of twilight force i may have to remove that hmm potentially speaking i'm not 100 percent certain but that is something to keep in mind removing twilight force i don't want to do but at the same time, it might have to be done. Um, because even though the Twilight Force is a very good mod, if it's conflicting too much with a couple of the mods, like it's forcing experimental settings, um, one, it's the type of, it's the mod that actually prevents me from using Optifine. So there's that. Okay. Got dragon, uh, got. Don't got dragons nearby. Gunk. Okay. Now, what ability is this? Invisibility. That's a really good ability to get at the start. I'm gonna do get that. Because, one, that will make it so much easier to hide from mobs. Oh my god, because that's continuous invisibility. That's good luck of the draw right there. As I said, Everlasting, abil uh, Everlasting Abilities is one of the mods that I absolutely love. Um, because of its ability, you stay hidden from hostile mobs. Now, if I come over here, right over there is, I believe, 
Is that an abyssal forest? I am not 100% certain. I think this is. Um, let me check here. Oh, a flora forest. Okay. Somewhat of a difference, yes. And does that change the sky coloring? Yes, it does. That's freaky. I... Oh my, okay. Now, it does look like there is a wooden fort over there. And it looks like this flora forest stretches out to that side as well. Let me go over to this fort. Granted, I am invisible, so it's going to make things a little bit better for getting inside. Oh. Oh my god. Is this like just like a little dirt hut? It is. It's a little dirt hut. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody's little house. And it's much like the, um, oh my god, like, okay, potatoes, what's in here? A slash po potion of weakness. And that's a cleric that got locked up in there, got turned into a zombie. How ironic, a cleric turned into a zombie. <laughs> Um, I am going to take the potatoes in here because they're useful. And I'm just going to come back up here. And let's just go ahead and get out of this place because obviously. Okay, and different types of cows. Okay, that right there is one thing that I would need for taming an alpine uh, dragon. A bee. Why? Because I don't know why this is the case, but when I was looking this up, the mod, uh, the, the Discord itself said that alpine dragons will naturally attack bees. They didn't say why. But it's something that the developer did with this mod. Okay, where is the open side? I know there's an open side for this building. Hmm. Not over here. I know I'm, I'm trying really hard just to get into a building that, eventually speaking, I don't need access to. Huh, okay. Is there a way to get in from the undergrowth? Because it looks like it's blocked in on all sides. Well, let me check down here. Yes, there is. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, these guys aren't going to attack me as long as my invisibility is in play. But I do want to. Oh, well, that <laughs> didn't last long. Now, do I still have my invisibility? Yes, I do, because I only I equipped it to my entities or my bodies, so it's not going to do much. Now, how is it that they detected me? My... 
uh, I guess as good was taking damage. My invisibility should have prevented them from t uh, targeting me with their AI. How did that happen? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Why are you taking damage? Oh, I think that's taking damage because of a... What looks like... Piranha? Or is that an eel? Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Is that a... Is that a little baby wolf? Oh my god, so cute! Holy sh... Okay. Just a dragon skeleton ro roaming around. I guess I'll go ahead and take its bones. No scales or anything. Uh, F3 and G, I believe it is. H. No. F. No. G. Oh, that's reloading it. I didn't want to do that. It's F3 and like B or B. Okay, so it's F3 and B, so that's hitbox right there. Okay, well, I just am getting bones from this thing. I'm not getting anything else. Which is fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, go ahead and turn off hitboxes because I don't need to worry about it. Now I am on uh, sand right now, so I'm naturally going to get a little bit hotter. Now, what was that? Oh, that was a desert worm. Okay. Also, something I should consider. Those it, were those coyotes that I saw earlier. What were you? Forget entity. Target entity, coyote. Uh, they are technically a member of the dog family, but I don't think that they will do much else. Now, I think that the reason that there is a couple mobs that are dying down there is because that there's, I think, either an eel or some type of, like, hostile fish-based mod, or mob, for that matter, that is... Um, that's being a bit funky. Oh, let me see. Going into a dark oak forest isn't necessarily a great idea. But I don't see... Is that a canary wyvern? That is one type of dra uh, dragon that I have not figured out how to tame. And even if I did, I don't know what I would tame it for. Hmm. And it is getting close to nighttime now. 
So stay on the roof of the forest because that's going to be the safer place between um, the ground and anywhere else. One, because mobs, if to my knowledge, cannot spawn on leaves, so they can teleport onto leaves like the Endermans can. But in all honesty, I'm not wanting to get involved with Enderman right now. Now that looks like a cherry blossom tree. Is that natural? That should be, if I recall correctly. Hmm. I'm thinking that I want to head over there and fi find out what that is. Yep, the mobs are coming out. I could, in all honesty, head over to that dirt hut that's right over there. But I don't... See? Ow. Is that a pillager patrol? It's a pillager patrol. Why would pillagers not want to be over here? Is that a jump that I think I can make? I can't. The vines will catch me. Okay. Yep. That hurt. That hurt. Yep. That hurt. That'll hurt in the morning. That'll hurt in the morning. Now, as far as I can tell, there's no mobs that are nearby. So. Spiders. Lovely spiders. Well, then again, that's normal Minecraft mobs, so... I believe that alligators are not a mob that is present in the mob pack. So let me go ahead and just come up here. And I believe I can just go ahead and make this jump. Yep. Kinding just wanting to um okay no yeah, there's a creeper i wonder can i actually convert this into anything i can't Lovely. Oh yeah, that's right. I am invisible, so why am I worrying about a mob attacking me? Because the mobs cannot see me. Now also, what, is that, what does that blue say? Oh, it means that I'm wet. Duh. Makes sense. Um, got a creeper over there. Or a couple creepers, actually. Julian. I don't know if these are poisonous or not. So. Oh, there's canary wyverns. I think it's on the opposite. No, it's this way. Right over there on the top of that hill. Oh, it looks like there's a... Hmm. And I left the door open. Of course I did. Okay. We dream. So mobs are now going to start dying off, such as in skeletons, zombies, and, and the sort. Spiders are a different story. They're not going to really do anything. There was nothing really else kept inside of this room. So what I'm going to go out and do is go collect material. I'm going to need to get material because it's going to be my only way of surviving off 
This trillium flower, I have no clue what it could be used for because it doesn't do anything inside my crafting table, uh, inside my personal crafting table. So I am going to go collect some logs. Oh, got a couple of different uh, birdies over here. That is also incredible luck, the fact that I got invisibility as my first ability with everlasting. No, they're not birds, they're parrots. At least that's what's over here right now. I believe... Yeah, first tame bird. Achievement made. Oh, and they're gonna... They got a little birdie! Uh, that, that wasn't intentional for me to just get mating done, first and foremost. Um... Why I already have you guys tamed? You, I haven't tamed yet. You that is on the ground. Why? Why does it feel like that's that's not supposed to take that long? Came one measly little bird. Yeah. There we go. Finally, it allowed me to go and take you. Now, these birds should go and follow me, right? No, because they're a type of animal similar to a dog or similar to a cow or a. Uh, or something else like that. Or similar to a cow, pig, or something else. So, with that in mind, it's also really... This, this seed is actually really good luck, to be honest. At least so far. Now, if I recall correctly, these drop something like opals that are supposed to be coming... Uh, Lauren's, okay. Lauren. Uh, these are meant for the Abyss mod. Uh, you gotta go and collect Lauren's with obsidian to make a special type of obsidian i forget what its name is um and then you go and create a portal as you would if you were going to nether with it and that takes you to the abyss um what other mods are, are, are on here? um uh the never and uh, the nether has a mod um mod attached to it that is based around uh, redefining the purpose or the repurposing certain biomes of the mob uh, mod or certain biomes of the nether um i forget what it's called it's like nourished nether or something like that um i i'm not 100 percent certain but i do know that it helps with um diversity within the nether so there's that now let's see here I kind of want to keep this tree, the one that's right next to the house, uh, or the dirt hut. Uh, I still find that funny how we found this within the first day. Um, so I didn't necessarily have to go looking far. Let's just go ahead and get a bit more wood going on. I'm going to need to get some cow meat. I don't... One thing I am not too certain about is what the bones that I have are used for. I bet you, if anything, they could be used for bone armor. If anything. Um, or dragon bone armor. I have no clue, though. Um, I imagine it could be. Um, dragon bone wall. That's an interesting one. A soul jar. How do you craft a soul jar? Okay, I'm not going to ask that question right now. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Quark actually does that. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, well, I didn't know Quark did that. Okay, well, I'll leave that alone. Um... I think maybe getting some of the... Oh, I'm running low on hunger. I need to go and craft tools. I need to craft some tools. I need to craft some tools because I am hungry. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't take the potato. I can't eat the potatoes because the potatoes are in the Roman fortress. Uh, okay, well, one. Just craft. No, actually, I can't do that. I'm going to craft wooden axe because I know that does more damage. A dragon horn. I don't know what the implications of a dragon horn is, but I have a funny feeling that it could be useful. Also, wooden club. I wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind using that. Uh, the wooden axe does 7 with 0.8 attack. 4.5 with 1.6 attack. Not really that useful. Earplugs. Oh, that is something that's going to be useful. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to be useful for when you uh, fight. I believe it's when you fight the sirens. Um, so that's interesting. An oak button. Gotta get a button. But no, I think that's fine. An ear-shattering horn. Um, so, how is it that you use this? Hmm. I am not sure how you use this, but it is a mob, I, a mod, I, a mod that I guess I, an item that I guess I could use at some point. I have no clue what it could be used for. I'm gonna have to search that up, but that can be waited upon. Um, I am, however, come here, cow. Can you stop running around? Thank you. You dropped three meat right there. I don't mind that. Are you like an albino cow? I don't know, but then again, I don't really care right now. Um, as far as... Yeah, let's go and cook you guys up. I'm just going to use oak wood logs for this because I have no clue how much I'm going to be able to use. It's all pretty a matter of perspective at that point. Now let's go and take this. Eat our first piece of meat. Uh, num num nums. Num 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 num. And we start to regain health. Okay, so only two logs get, uh, made like three bits of steak. That's fine. <laughs> I can still burn them, but it's not going to provide me with much. Okay, just real quick, have the oak planks be used for that. Okay. That's fine. Um, it is getting close to nighttime, so we should go ahead and rest as well. Yes, I know only during nights and thunderstorms. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Bloody 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 blah. <sighs> Come on.
think it's like as soon as like the has for top half of the layer drops below the door because that's considered the horizon there we go okay so i imagine yes so you guys are stuck down here so potion of weakness, or splash potion of weakness for that matter. I should find a golden apple and try to revive that. Apparently you guys reveal nothing. You also reveal nothing. So go and get you going. Okay. So I'm going to bring this chest up here so that way I can use that d use it for storage. And it's going to be a little bit more accessible. Now I wonder. Okay, yeah, it's still accessible because of the, uh I almost thought that it wasn't accessible for a moment because of the lamp or lantern. So um I want to put you, 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 you. Um, put the leather in there. The leather I can actually use, but I need to get more of that. Um, I'll put the dragon horn in there because I have no use for it right now. Um, keep the planks on hand because I have no reason not to. I'll sort out the inventory. Um, and go from there. Okay. Boom. I just want to get more leather, to be honest. I don't really need to worry about meat at the moment. But at the same time, it would, it would be nice to have. Oh, you're a... A pheasant. Huh. Interesting. Now let me see here. I believe that some of the it seems like this entire forest Now, what type of tree is this? Shroom oak and shroom oak. Wait. Oh, different stem types. Okay. That's something that I was not expecting. I'm guessing the Flora mod is one of those mods that are. Damn, you actually go deep. Now, is this normal dirt? Beg dirt block. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and it's also a very cold biome. Interesting, okay. Now, if we get, like, freezing cold, I believe that we start to go and take, like, um, like, hypothermia damage. That is one thing that I do like. Like, I think I got the, I think that's what that, oh, what that is called is the survival, uh, something like survival plus, where it changes the survival mechanics with, um, like, temperature and so on and so forth or body temperature more specifically so being in a cold environment you're obviously going to have a 
um, a colder body temperature. So that that's what it mimics in a sense. It assigns different like temperature levels to different regions, and thus also, uh, when your body is in that area, it forces your body to adapt to that region. So I kind of like that. Like that a lot. Um, let's see here. Uh, get in that out of my inventory. Um, let's see here. Over here, I believe, was where the dragon was, right? Or at least close by it was. No, right over here was spawn. And then the dragon... Yeah, the dragon skeleton was right over here. Now, we haven't really ventured far, but... We can go ahead and look in this direction. I kind of want to look over past the desert, but the de here's the thing about the desert. You kind of going into any sort of like biome where it has a varied weathered system where it like can get super hot or super cold, you want to be sure that you are well and prepared for it because sometimes going into those temperatures isn't necessarily the best option. Goose Yeah. I just want to try and see if I can find more uh, more um, structures in all honesty. Oh, now that should be a regular deer, or is that an, a reindeer? Because I have a feeling that is uh, one of the two. Just a regular deer, deer, because it has antlers, which makes sense. Oh. What? Oh. A treetop chest. <laughs> well, for one, has diamonds. Ender nugget. An Enderman pet. Oh my god, yes. So the, the Enderman pet auto teleports when health is low. I like that. Okay, well, I like that. So got Dragon Vroom first steps with my new Enderman pet. So, let me see here. Randomly teleports you. Okay, but you can take fall damage because of it, which makes sense. Now, it's not going to teleport you if you get into um, the water, but that's fine. Now let's see here. Now because of another mob that uh, is currently installed, or mod that is currently installed, um, all the mobs that are killed will go ahead and drop what is called an essence. Essence is what is essentially speaking. Uh, go and grab all that bread, please. Done in there. Let's see. Oh. Eh, you got nothing going on here. Kind of also doesn't help that you got a tree sitting right in front of your face. What's inside of this chest? Potatoes, emeralds, carrots, gold nuggets. Now, why, what is it that can tame the coyote? That is something that I need to figure out. Carrots. 
Birch. Saplings. And Lily of the Valley. Oh, that's... Okay, well, that's a rare Minecraft flower. And oh god. This village extends a bit farther than what I thought. Okay. Also, it is becoming nighttime now, so finding a place to sleep would be necessary. <laughs> okay, I guess you decided to take this bed. Thank you very much. I'll head over to one of these beds. Taken. Not taken. Good. Okay. Now, let's see here. You don't got a top chest. That was just like by a random chance that would happen. I'm going to be checking, like, all the trees now. Like, if I end up, like, using one, I'm going to be, like, so cautious. I already checked that one, so I'm fine. Okay, that's an interesting setup for a house, people. That's a weird collision with the houses there. Where where is it that I can get inside? What the heck are you? Oh, so you're a wolf. That makes sense. I don't know why you attacked me. Maybe it's because I collided with him or with it. This looks like a boarding house, which as a book. Nothing over here. Blacksmith. Anything useful in the blacksmith? Also, I do know that the game is stuttering, so you guys are going to ask that. <gasps> Haste one, jump boost one, haste one as well. So in all honesty, those haste ones can be combined to a haste two. If I'm correct on that, it can. No, it can't. Okay. Oh, desert worm. 150? Uh, okay, fair enough. Now, let me check with the farmer here. Grab the boots because... Um... That... That's going to be kind of weird, having me walking around with just boots on. That's right, these desert worms are like super like common in the desert specifically. I don't know what it is that can aggro them aside from just like breaking their block. Also, okay, another area over there that we can go take a look at. A few minutes. Oh, this is a waypoint. Yes. Thank you. So if we do end up finding a waypoint later on down the line, we can use that to teleport. So this will teleport us back to this village. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. 
Normally, the waypoints are just out in the middle of nowhere with nothing going on. Uh, nothing useful in there. What was that? Timber Wolf Pelt. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Use Moki here. I'm terrible at making like. Was this? Oh, this is a. Oh, and these are waterlogged. This looks like it's abandoned, but this is considered a village. Iron axe, iron. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go in and get a pickaxe, shall we? Also, um, do you have a crafting table nearby? I bet you you do. You just don't know where it's at. Any crafting tables in here? Yeah, if you guys do got food in here, but I bet you it's all the same stuff. Yeah, just food in the chest. Nothing out of the ordinary. All was done in one. Ooh, emeralds. I'll take that. You guys don't need them. Okay, you're just walking in there. Ah, library. You know, I am curious. Also, a library in this, this structure is just like a passage through, instead of it being its own room, but technically it's blocked off because this isn't going much farther. Okay. That goes down. This is a very sprawled out village. Well, underground village for a matter of fact. This is actually one of the mods that are in the mod pack. I do gotta say, this is actually more one of my favorite mods than anything. Because you get to see something completely new in Minecraft. I, I never have seen like a villager mod that it allows for the actual village to form underground. It's not something you hear every day. Now this is armor. Eh, not really all that interested in what you got over here as wares, buddy. And over here just looks to be a, a disused uh, worker workstation. Let's see. Nothing over there. Here, over there. Uh, chest over here. Iron. And a pickaxe, but it's like 
super broken. Eh. I guess that's fine. Go into another portion. Oop, okay, you just go into a dead end. Oh, okay. Also, I don't have enough XP. First. Is this another, like, keep that open? Yeah, it's another one. Cat! Or, it wasn't a cat, it was just a villager. How can they tell that when it's nighttime down here? That's something that I want to find out. How can the villagers tell that it is nighttime down here? Or do they have something like redstone going on that tells them, hey, it's nighttime, get the bed? I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. Hi, I'm just going to be uh, taking some stuff that you got over here. I don't need the melons, so I'll just take that instead. And this. And this. Do you guys have a, a uh, farmer at all? I know that the far uh, there's a farmer in the village that's up top. I don't I haven't seen one that's uh, here yet. Flint, we need that. Um... They're all pretty much nitwit. They don't really got much going on. Iron ore. Okay. Interesting. Further down. And of course you don't have that. And this is just a dead end. So I don't know why I came down here. Mm, I'll leave the pumpkin. Yeah, I don't have any pumpkins on hand. I already been there. Okay. Go further down. Here. Another further down area. This one's like a co room. Oh, these are all like co rooms. Okay. There's a lot of villagers in this complex. Double chest with emeralds in it. I will gladly take the emeralds. I'll take the nugget, the gold nugget as well. Over here, nothing special. And dead end. Okay. I do hear lava on this side, but that's fine. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. This. I like. I, I do like the undergrounds. It's definitely something that gives it a little bit more character, I'd say. But let's head up top. And I kind of want to lock off this area here. Oh, great. Okay, well, at least I can just go ahead and do this. Okay.
Hmm? Oh, got a block. Spider. I need to get near a fire because otherwise I'm going to go ahead and start taking um, hypothermia damage. I hear like a slide. Okay. What was that noise? I think that was the noise that I was hearing. No, just you. I'm gonna just sleep in the closest bed I can find, which apparently is not over here. Okay. Not over here. Not over here. <laughs> not you. Not you. Not you. Okay. Oh boy, this place is like a maze in all honesty. This is like underground 2.0 right here because I know that I found a um, underground village like uh, similar to this in a way. Um, also, you guys are sitting in the cell. Why? I don't think that would be a good idea. Huh. Exactly down this way. Abandoned part of the village is what it looks like. Hmm. Mystical Agriculture, first edition. Oh, I can do that, okay. And then... Can't craft a soul jar. Um, but have enough to craft the crafting goods. Yeah, well, that's the iron blocks. Um, let's go and just craft a bit of the yeah. Just do a bit of more bread because that's gonna be cool. Sure. Okay. That should be fine. That should be fine. Um, ghost. Where are you, ghost? A ghost, if I recall correctly, comes from the. Is it? Box is shown because the ghost, I recall, 
one, it's not going to tar it's not able to target me because I'm considered invisible. So if it does show up, one, the iron golems should go ahead. The moaning of the actual ghost is so. I think that's the intention with that type of mod. It's somewhere nearby, is what I can definitely say. I don't know exactly what the ghost can do, but I do know it's not something pretty. What is it this door? Nope. Nope. I don't want it for it. Okay. Yeah, you lead for No, you don't. Don't lead it anywhere. I am lost now. I am dreadfully lost now. Uh, no. But do I have to go down to go back up? I have a feeling that's what I'm going to do. This is our part photographer's table which has empty maps okay i don't mind that i could actually use a couple of that now animal pelts if i can get more pelts then i can possibly also why is there no um crafting table in this village like is that so hard to ask for is it okay. no I'll look into the mystical agriculture later. There's one of the horses. I need to find a farmer because I want to sell. Well, for one, I can always get more hay. I want to. Uh, uh, what type of eggs? Uh, what type of turkeys? Okay. Got turkeys are a thing. Well, that it's a thing with the better animals mod. That, that it's bringing a lot of new stuff. In. Okay. Um, you are the armor? Yes. Yeah, I know. We were talking to someone who's invisible right now. I'm mostly doing this so that way I can start to get better equipment. Granted, the invisibility is something that's useful, but it's not going to be like a permanent thing. I don't want to have it be where invisibility is going to be my sole reason for being able to get out of conflict. Which, you, my good sir, I don't have enough carrots. 
And I know for a fact you haven't grown enough carrots for me to go and take. So I'll leave it at that. Um, let's see here. I forget what the uh, coyotes can be tamed with. Let me see here. I am going to pause game real quick so that way I can go and take a look. Uh, da, 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 we want better animals. Okay, so see here. Oh, almost done that. Uh, did he? Here. So, coyotes are supposed to be hostile, but because of the fact that, um, but because I am, I have the invisibility on, it, they are considered passive towards me. They won't attack me whatsoever. Now, let's see here. Okay, so apparently there is a little bit of a wiki that's already been created for it, which I'm starting to figure out might be useful in terms of understanding the mod, that is. Now, let's see here. Um... So, the feral wolves, which is something that attacked me earlier, Uh, da, 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 da. So, further, they can occasionally drop a wolf head. Huh, that's something they can't necessarily know. And they can be tamed. Okay. How is it that they can be tamed? player is wearing an ender dragon head, they can tame a feral wolf with bone. What? The player has to be wearing an ender dragon head to go ahead and tame a feral wolf? That kind of seems a little bit over the top. Ooh. Oh, that's why. Because if you try to tame a feral wolf without the dragon's head, um, you're going to get the message that says, you cannot tame feral wolves without proving your prowess. Discover a mighty enemy, defeat it, and wear its head. Feral wolves only bow to the protector of the forest. Which, the protector of the, the forest, I don't know why that would insinuate Ender Dragon being that? Uh, I don't really know. Okay, that's fine. 
Uh, but that's interesting to know for one. Two, I wasn't expecting that to be the case. Now, coyotes. They're a hostile mob. Actually, no. According to the wiki, they are neutral. And they can be tamed. Coyotes can be tamed with raw chicken, raw rabbit, or raw pheasant, but can only be tamed during the day. Any player who attempts to tame one during the night will cause a message saying, this coyote is currently hostile. Perhaps it could be tamed outside of its hostile hour, hunting hours. That would actually make sense because a coyote naturally hunts during the nighttime. And you know what? Uh, one, I'm quite cold. Oh my god! Little butterflies. Okay. I need to go to somewhere that's a bit... Hmm. Otter. Maybe standing on sand for a little bit will prove to be a little bit hotter. Yeah, because the better survival mod is kicking in and going like, hey, you need to be like keeping warm when you're inside of cold environments. Now let me see here. I need... At one, I need a crafting table, first and foremost. That would be very useful right now, but I don't really have one inside of this forest, or inside of this town for that matter. I'm going to turn off hitboxes because I don't need them on anymore. So I'm just going to do the smart thing for anyone to do. And that's just create one. Um, go ahead and get some that made. Wait, can you make, like, no, you can't, okay. Oh, apparently you can make a shoot. But that's in the quarks mod, so. Carrot cake. A shield pen. Um, group resistance. Let me take a look here. Offhand Joker. Oh, okay, so you're pretty much just a shield in a sense. Okay. Iron Dragon Tail Armor. Oh god, I forgot that freaking um, Dragon Armor is really expensive. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Um, go ahead and just make a bit of that. A GLaDO handle? Oh, that's in the Medieval Craft. That's right. Medieval Craft is one of the mods that are in this pack uh, that allows you to go and have a better selection for different weapons you can have. Which, I could make a sledgehammer. How much damage does that even do? I don't really know. It's better than what I have now. But let's see. Okay, well, let me go ahead and... Oh, that dro Every time you use it, that drops its durability? What? 
Favorite food, iron nuggets. So you have to give it iron nuggets to replenish its durability. Aw. Kinda suck. Prowl. I'm gonna make a helmet, why not? And I think I have enough to go and make like a... Yeah. Make a chest plate, because why not? Okay, um, let's see here, I have way too much in my inventory, can I go ahead and use like one of the abilities now, maybe haste, no I only got 21, not recognizing my abilities any further than that, um, which is fine, we can work with that. What exactly are you? You are the leather worker. No thanks. You're a leather worker. You are the armor. You're a leather worker. I don't want you. Okay, so I think that the sledgehammer is not something you would be using for combat. Which makes sense in all honesty. Should have thought about that before making it. But as far as you are concerned, you're supposed to be used to make a actual weapon. A regular weapon, not just like a makeshift one. Uh but let's see here. A trowel. Interesting. Okay. Uh, just go and make an iron sword. Well, actually, yeah, go and do an iron sword because I don't have enough wood to do anything else, pretty much. Oh, okay. That's fine. Now, I want to go kill either chicken... What is it? Chicken, pheasant, or rabbit? And it is coming nighttime, so I will need to do that soon. Now this is turkey. It won't have turkey, so I can't kill, I don't want to kill turkey. No, uh, not a house. Uh, of course, that's occupied. And you're occupied as well. Sorry, buddy, but using your bed. Now, I want to see is this is supposed to be a wolf's head? Is that a coyote head? What is it that can be used for? Okay. So the behavior is that during the day, coyotes will not attack players, aimlessly wandering around and avoiding any na uh, naturally uh, natural hazards such as lava instead. Um, however, during the night, coyotes will become hostile to players and upon sight will quickly run at them before leaping at them and dealing 2.5 hearts or 5 HP of damage when pursuing players. They will emit a constant growling noise. In addition to attacking players during the night, the uh, coyotes will also attack uh, skeletons, sheep, 
chicken, villagers, rabbits, and illagers during that time. This behavior is influenced by how hungry they are. Um, they have predatory hunger. Okay, that makes sense. Now let me see here. There should be a coyote, like... One, a coyote that I saw, like, right over here. Yeah, there was one right over here. So I should go ahead and find a... Well, if there's if that one that I just saw appears, then I know where to find more. Well, that just walks right in front of me. Now, as far as a uh, chicken or pheasant, I think that those are pheasants over there, right? But I don't think they're goose. I think that's right. Now right over here, oh boy, deep cave. This looks like it's just a regular like cemetery sort of deal. You don't want to come into a cemetery unless you are per perfectly content with going into one. I'm not really wanting to go into one because I know that those things can get a bit on the rough side. I'm going to go ahead and aim. Okay, you're not going to attack me. Good. Got a lot. Oh boy, that's a medieval city right there. Now, because of the medieval mod, there is both Roman uh, cities, like what we saw earlier, and um, these types of cities, which are more fortresses than cities, in all honesty. Uh, because they just protect a cert a specific building. But yeah, um, they are pretty hostile. No matter if you go into one or not. So it's in my best recommendation to stay away from them. And there's also patrols around the, uh, around the place. So if you can stay hidden, or in my case, invisible, you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, running a bit low on hunger. Now I wonder, where is the silver glider? Because I, I really want to find one of those, because those are easiest to tame, in my honest opinion. They're not only the easiest, but they are also the smallest of the dragons that I have discovered to be tameable. Um, I don't know to what extent, but all I do know is that they are tameable. And from what I have been told, uh, the way they are tamed is something that is to be explored, in other words. Although finding a pheasant, a chicken, or a rabbit is extremely difficult at the moment, because none I can find. Or at least, not at the moment. That's a wolf. Wolves are naturally hostile, so you want to be um, not nearby them, in other words. Or at least you want to show a distance between them and you. I'm just hoping that I can find like something like chickens, pheasants, or rabbits, because 
need to f I want to find at least one because I want to get a coyote. <laughs> I know that sounds very like corny or very like why do you want a coyote type mentality, but it's me. Also, this looks like an entrance to an underground. No, it's not an entrance, but it does look like a wishing well. Is that what it's meant to be? I have no clue. You guys, uh, peasants? Goose. Damn it. Oh, Okay, I guess you decided to pick up that leaf. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I just want to go around this forest because I have a funny feeling that I will find something regardless. No boars. Yeah, I don't want to get near them because I think that they are considered hostile. They, I believe, do a ramming ability? Not 100% certain, but I do know that I did believe I saw them on the hostile list. Mm, okay. Oh, and deer. I doubt it, but is deer tameable? As in, like, can you ride a deer? No, you cannot. It is a non tameable animal. Which makes sense. Now, let's see here. Um. That's a mob that I wasn't expecting to be on this list. Apparently, in Oceans, there is a mob that is called a whale. And there is two different types of whales. Well, not two different types of whales. Two different types of attacks that they have. They are... Uh, whales come in two different types. The first type is a uh, is a smaller whale with a uh, blunter head and a longer thin uh, dorsal fin, uh, which comes in four different variants: a uh, dark brown variant, a light brown, a light gray, a white variant, a black. Now uh, the second type is a larger beaked whale with a shorter, wider dorsal fin, which comes in two different variants. Okay. Uh, waves will not. Uh, whales will not attack, attack players unless provoked, and when undisturbed, will swim around aimlessly in a similar manner to fish. However, unlike most other aquatic mobs, they cannot stay underwater without sur resurfacing for air every so often, and will drown if they are in water for four minutes. Oh, so if they stay underwater for a long period of time, they will go ahead and, um. Drown. If a whale gets beached on land, it will start suffocating after two minutes. While on land, whales will not move and will stay in place until they die. Oh, that's sad. That's really sad. Uh, da -da -da. Doesn't mention anything about them being tameable. So, so I'm not going to worry. Why would I even want to get a tameable whale? It is something that most likely just popped in my brain. We were like, why would you want a tameable whale? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, what is you? Oh, no. Ooh. Interesting. Okay.
Well, that's the type of mob that I kind of figured would be hostile. Uh, a, the mob that is called a moose, which makes sense in all honesty. Ugh. Okay, let's... That's a goat. Okay. Okay. Now, is the coyote that was over here still over here? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm still looking for a frickin' chicken, peasant, a pheasant, or a frickin' rabbit. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to... Is that... That's clouds. I forgot that clouds are something that can be... That you can go ahead and head into. Or find, for that matter. actually over here that's causing all these things to die. I would really want to find out. I think I know. Which is a lamprey. Which its ability kind of reminds me of it being a leech. Because they are a naturally hostile water-based mob. Are you guys, you guys are goose, if I recall correctly. Uh-oh. Uh, go ahead and just get rid of our saplings. Raw eel. Okay, kind of something I thought it was. Those are goose. Those gooses. Where is there a skunk over there? If all correctly, skunks are considered a neutral mob. Now I'm heading back over to the dirt hut. Not intentionally speaking, but I kind of have no other choice in that matter because, frankly, frankly speaking, I don't, uh, I'm still trying to find, I'm so obsessed right now about getting a freaking coyote as a, like, little tame dog or something like that. Oh. What exactly are you? You are... Something. Oh, some parrots. Wasn't expecting them to be over here. Oh, there's a Roman soldier. And it looks like nothing around here. I'm 
and we are entering into a normal zone sort of deal. And it is considered cold here, so I am going to go ahead and pop my way through if it's possible. Was that a goose that I heard? Yep, another freaking goose. Goose are too common. At least in this area, they are. Now that looks like a goat and a variant of a chicken. Oh, raw chicken. Now, as long as I don't eat it, I will be fine. Now, all I need to do is just find... a coyote. Now there's the wyvern. Ah, didn't work on the first try. I was hoping it did. Of course it didn't. That's right. Those things are not friendly. Hmm. Okay. I want to go check out that cherry blossom tree. That's something that I should go ahead and take a look at. That's eels. Don't want to be touching eels. But it looks like it's the only way across. Like they killed each other.
Hmm. Okay. Okay. Why do I have a funny feeling I'm going to find an alpine dragon over here? Because if I recall correctly, alpine dragons are going to be non-hostile. Um, they won't try to attack you unless you provoke them. So they are considered a passive, uh, a, a passive hostile mod. Or a neutral hostile, for that matter. Oh, do I have... Yeah, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Get rid of the flora. Okay. Let's go back home real quick. At least it's easy to find uh, where we live. Oh. Not considered nighttime yet, so it's not going to attack me. And for that matter... Not attack me either. Okay, one thing I am going to have to be considerate about is making some sort of like uh, survival wiki for this mod or for this mod pack because I have a funny feeling if people don't play this right, they will die in their first night. Similar to how I did, but not so, not really. Okay, so I got four pieces of raw chicken now. Monster Hunter. Okay. Ooh. What abilities do you have? Magnetism. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. And I can't like put these abilities together, can I? If I had my ability bottle, then maybe. But I don't. I think coyote that I'm looking for would be like right over here. Yep, right next to the dead dragon or the dragon skeleton, just as before. Was it you or was it your brother? I think it was you that I tried taming. Cool, okay. Now I'm assuming that he is going to attempt to kill whatever may be around me. Now let me just check here. Coyotes. Once tames, coyotes will start following the player, even teleporting if they are too far away from their owner. They can be uh, commanded to sit by right-clicking them with an empty hand, as well as this. Uh, tamed coyotes will attack any mob, save uh, for creepers and gas. 
their owners attack in extension a tamed coyote will come to its owner's aid if they are under attack feeding a coyote any kind of meat will heal it heal it coyote's tail rises and lowers depending on how much health it has and when it, a tamed coyote is low on health below 50 percent it will start whimpering pitifully gotcha okay that's pretty intuitive actually so if i were to give you chicken right now Okay, you're at full health, so let me see. When it's at that position for its tail. Okay. Now, will you tame? No, you won't. Of course you won't. Of course you won't. Of course you won't tame for me. Oh, you have only three abilities left. Okay. Favorite food? Obsidian nuggets. I don't have any obsidian nuggets. Something I'll have to keep in mind. Um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's head over to the actual... I think that it is... Uh, e. uh, there is a mod that I have installed. It's the Waypoints mod, if I recall correctly. How is it that you can use... Or Waystone. My bad. How is it that you can use the Waystones mod? Adds a waystone block that the players can return to once they've been activated, either through a warp scroll, a, re a rechargeable warp stone, or by using an existing waystone uh, to hop from one to the other. can be used in survival mode for adventure maps or on multiplayer servers as an alternative to slash warp or and slash home commands. Waystones can be made globally available to all players, and a configurable inventory button can be set up uh, to allow warping without any additional items. Interesting. Okay. That's uh, pretty creative, I'd say. That's a skunk over there. We don't want the skunk. I really want to find out about this dragon. Like, Yeah, okay. I'll leave it alone. I just want to come over here. I'm going to need to go ahead and hop into a little bit of a water bed. Another skeleton? What the? Okay. Yeah, another dragon skeleton. This one looks like it was bigger. And of course there's a worm. Damn. Yeah, that definitely is a bigger dragon. Why are you guys clicking when I'm nowhere near you guys? Unless there's one like right over here. I don't really know. Hmm. Okay. We'll leave you alone. At least we'll leave the skeleton alone. Oh, that's a little butterfly. I think I'm kind of lost. 
Uh, no, because I just made it back into a swamp, and that looks like a black bear. Which, if I recall correctly, black bears are hostile. Here you are, little buddy. Okay, I still have the hitboxes open, which I really don't need open, in all honesty. Um, where are we going? I have no clue. I really have no clue. Okay, well, I think that's shown off quite a bit of the mod pack already. Which, let me see here. Oh, this is Quark's mod. That's right. Um, I don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about it. So I think that is going to do us for today, ladies and gents. Um, I think that my BR screen is set up the way I'm thinking. No, it is not. Okay. Uh, that is going to be the end of the stream for today. Grant, um, also, I totally forgot to be playing music in the background. That was my bad. So with that said, I will be back for another stream when next week i don't have any plans going on next thursday i might actually stream on monday night because monday is my 22nd birthday so i might actually stream monday night so that way i can go ahead and not only get a little bit more stream time in but also do a little bit of other things as well anyway i will catch you guys in the next stream whenever that may be um, the end screen is going to have the wrong date on it, so ignore that. Uh, but regardless, I will catch you guys then. Have a good rest of your night.